So as you just saw, that internet speed test was the Airbnb that we're staying in at the moment. We weren't actually meant to have internet. The Airbnb wasn't advertised with internet, so we kind of went in there with very low expectations considering there was no internet. And we got there and there was internet and it's actually been the fastest internet that we've had on this entire trip. Welcome to a weekend in Cairns, day one of two. So I had a bit of a debacle last night. We got back to the room after being out for the entire day. We didn't really stock up on the water. It's not advised to drink the water here unless you've been here for a few weeks and your body can kind of adapt to it otherwise you could have bad stomach cramps and just bad stomach problems so we got back to the room i was super thirsty and then i realized that i had about four centimeters of water left in one drink bottle and about one centimeter left of water in another drink bottle i had no choice but to finish up really quick because i was so thirsty and then it was only 12 o'clock so i had the whole night ahead of me to try and battle this thirst then i woke up again at four in the morning dying of thirst so i had no choice but to drink about half a liter of juice and about half a litre of lemonade at four in the morning. So now we've just left the unit and we're gonna go down to the beach for the day, go get Macca's, second day in a row, and stock up on water. Go pop up market or something. That's really cool. Hey, look, it's you. You're a yacht, a perfect 24 in sun. This beach view never gets old, even though we've only been here for two days. But if we're here for longer, I don't think it would have gotten any older. This is where we got dessert from last night. They have these things scattered all the way down the boardwalk. Hopefully we can see someone famous today. So this is a hotel where the majority of the famous people are staying at. And it's just always people lining up around there, waiting to see someone come out. I don't know if anyone is coming out now, but there's always people there. You should pat it, Chloe. Can you go, can you ask if you can pat it? Can you just, can you? What a beast. Once again, we find ourselves with the red carpet, but no one to be seen. This is almost better than Disneyland. Same as yesterday. Oh, cannot get enough. Food with a view. Okay, lunch is all done with. We used to, a disaster. Do you want to tell them about what happened? Well, I've been craving a chicken wrap for a really long time. So we walked all the way to McDonald's and I ordered it and I've been into it and it turns out I actually had ordered a potato and cheese wrap. It wasn't actually that bad. It was but terrible. Yeah, Chloe didn't really like it. And then we left. Chloe asked a guy how much these like sailor hats were and he started off at 20 euro and we didn't really say anything and then he dropped down to 15 and then he went to 10 and then he went to 5 in about, I don't know. Like 20 seconds. 20 seconds. So the best way to barter is to not say anything at all. If only my hub lot looked like this, and if it was also real. Not in the back, it's real. Such a hot day today. Gonna go and find some water and something for dinner. From then the make supermarket. from the supermarket. Yeah, nothing special tonight. And then make our way back up. Chloe's currently on the market for a new pair of reading glasses. They don't look too bad. Pretty stylish. Chloe went on a tweezer mission, mission successful. Now, time to go and get some water from somewhere. That was pretty painless. Welcome to my garage. I tend to have two or three Porsches a day that I go through. And which one am I going to pick today? Hmm, this one? Maybe I'll pick this one. Oh, actually, I'm feeling like a bit of a wide day. I don't know. You know what? Maybe, oh, maybe I'll go for an Audi. Uh, maybe a wagon, station wagon. <sighs> Thankful. So 
so thankful for being home right now with this heavy bag. Ooh. Damn it. Should I gotta do this in portion actually? This is really sketchy. Nothing like living in the Elden days. Ooh. Yeah, get me here. I'll try and do this one hand. Let's see how skilled I am. This is so hard. It should be able to be easy with one hand. <sighs> Time to iMovie and chill. It's, n it's not that hard to make that. <laughs> Went to snap. But once again, the perks of staying in an Airbnb is you can have a full-blown kitchen. You can save so much money from buying food. Really hidden and very small, but definitely, definitely well-equipped. Smells really old though. Looks kind of old as well. Oh well, it'll do. Perfect time for the sun to come down. Hopefully we make it to the beach in time. Look at what? Yes. There or down there? Or where? Well we... Oh see, Palm Beach comes in. Yeah, so we want to go down there. Do you think we can get out and go right? We now embark upon foot to find thy mysterious beach. And also, Chloe wants to get dessert. No, with me. Justin wants dessert. Nope. Yep. <laughs> nope. Yep. Editing it out. <laughs> the sun sets on the other beach. We just realised. Here it is. Is this thing meant to be a pier or what? Luckily, we have this Google Translator because we do not know French. And when you hold up to the sign, it says access prohibited. So we wouldn't have known that because it says that. that we're stuck here behind the casino wall hoping there's a track just here don't make me go on my own I'm not that much of a man perfect The sun just dropped. <laughs> oh, so close to home, but we have to walk so far away still. Closed. Okay, well, it looks like we ain't having no dessert tonight, so we'll check in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> 